How's it going everyone? Today we've got an awesome video. This is a $20,000 collection that I picked up this past week at the Montreal Card Show in Laval. This is the Anti Expo. It was a great show for buying, selling, and trading. And we did a whole bunch of all that stuff. So we're going to give you guys a little rundown of the show, some of the highlights, and we'll go through some of our pickups throughout the week. Of course, we had to start the weekend off right with finding a box to open up for the channel. So many different options here at this booth. It was a crazy amount of selection, but I did not have any supplies, so that impacted my decision, and I went with the only safe bet for hockey. Clear cut, no supplies needed for this product. Always a nice, fun rip. So let's see what we got inside this box today. This was the start of the show. Always start the show off right. See if you got a hot streak with a box or two. And inside this box, we had, of course, the Montreal Canadian Alexander Romanov. We're in Montreal, and we hit a Canadian. How fitting. Now, this card we will be giving away to one lucky winner on this video. If you want to be entered into that giveaway, follow all the rules in the description. We'll give this card out to one lucky winner at the end of the month. All right, so here are all the cards that we picked up at the Anti Expo this year. On the right side, these three rows, we have the $20,000 collection that I picked up actually before the show even started. On the left side here, these two rows, these were pickups throughout the show on the Saturday and the Sunday. And the middle row, that is trades that I made throughout the week. So let's get started with my pickups from other vendors that were set up at the show. It is going to be a common theme throughout a lot of these cards. We're going to be looking at Hall of Famers all day long here. Cards like this, 150 bucks. This was my very first pickup at the show, and it blew my mind that a card like this could only be $150 with the price tag. I mean, Caulfield Young Guns or a three-color quad game use patch of one of the best goalies of all time. No brainer in my opinion. I'll grab a bigger stack of cards so we can go through this a little bit faster. We got a lot of cards to go through. Patrick Wall, Ray Bork, dual jersey autograph from OPG Premier. Anytime I can get two Hall of Famers on the same card, I'll grab those all day long. Was very happy with that one. This one's typically not my cup of tea. Igor Shesterkin, Future Watch Autograph. That is a great player and a great team. If they go on a streak, definitely will go up. But I don't like these type of cards because they are volatile. If they start to play bad, they go down fast. I like those Hall of Famers. They go nice and steady and they slowly go up over time. Here's a very cool card, a Dustin Brown 101 patch autograph. This is a player that doesn't get enough hobby love. He had a great career with the Kings. Doesn't sell for much but always happy to pick up his cards when I get the chance to. I think that is from 0506 Artifacts, if I'm not mistaken. Here's a steal, in my opinion, Seth Jarvis, double diamond out of 99. Absolute stud for the Carolina Hurricanes coming up this year. So to get a double diamond rookie for that price all day, I think. Now here are some of the Panini Prime cards that I picked up. This is one of my favorite sets of all time. The game used patches from Panini Prime are crazy. This one's a Daniel Alfredson, Alfie, the letter O, that is 9 out of 10, beautiful cards, all game used, and behind it, this might be my favorite pickup of the show. Look how sick this card is. Game used logo patch, 14 out of 15 from Panini Prime, Alfie, crest logo, so sick. And the final Panini Prime card that I picked up was a Felix the Cat Popvin out of six game used letter marks. Another unique card that you just don't see too often. That is the stuff I'm looking for. So very happy to pick that one up, especially going to Toronto next weekend. That is going to be a popular card. And here are my final few pickups that I had walking the show floor. This is a Sidney Crosby Winter Classic Stadium Series Net Cord. I always loved these cards as a kid. And 150 bucks for Sid the Kid. I think it's worth it. We have a Jonathan Taze nice patch autograph out of 10 from the cup. This is another guy who is so underappreciated and undervalued in this hobby. For what he's done as a player, he should sell for way more than he does. And that is why I picked up not one, not two, but three Jonathan Taze on the show floor. This one is the best of them all. Jonathan Taze, Carey Price, dual program of excellence, five out of five. Two guys right now that aren't getting as much love as they should. Carey Price, obviously, with the retirement speculation, a few um, retirement speculation. Montreal fans are a little hesitant to pick up some of his stuff right now, but a beautiful card there. Was happy to get that one. Now, here are the cards that I got from trades throughout the weekend. I'm going to pop up a picture of the full trade on the top right corner, and then I'll just sort of explain the trade on the left side here. So this was probably the biggest trade of the weekend. I landed this beautiful triple autograph, Ovechkin, Malkin, and Kovalchuk, the Russian trio, BGS 9.5. Now, I obviously gave up the biggest card in this trade, the Mario Lemieux Limited Logos. 
was very smart of him trying to go for that card. But I was happy with the return. I think I got a little bit more than what the Mario was worth at the time. So very happy with it in hindsight. A beautiful Russian trio that you don't see too often. As well as a Mario Lemieux two-color peerless patches from Dominion. A very underrated set. And we also have a William Nylander logo rookie year autograph patch. And the triple Bobby Orr, Johnny Busick, and Phil Esposito. Always a solid card. Always around that three to $400 range. And got a little bit of cash on top. Was definitely happy with that trade. This one on the other hand, I know was not a smart move, but he was offering some cards that I really wanted in return. So I ended up doing it. That Ovechkin is gonna be such a big card. I know it once it's slabbed. I just hate the grading process, so I didn't do it myself. But once he PSA or BGS is that card, it's such a monster card. Everybody loves OPG Platinum. It's jersey number, it's green emerald out of 10. He is definitely gonna win this trade, but I was happy with the cards that I got in return. Stevie Y, I have the Mario version in the collection that I just bought. So wanted to pair those two. That is out of 25 from 1314 Ultimate. This is the short print Sidney Crosby base ultimate signatures and the Bobby Orr autograph. Always like to stock up on Bobby Orr. So long term, I definitely lost that trade. I think that Ovechkin one day will be worth two to three thousand uh, dollars. But happy with what I got at the time. And the final trade that I made, I got the Team Canada letter marks of Wayne Gretzky. Pretty much used this card as cash. Placed a value of about five hundred dollars on it. Took the $300 cash and traded off for my triple autograph out of 10. So pretty basic trade there. And finally, we have the $20,000 collection. Now, this was not everything that was in the collection. A few pieces are missing for the GP buybacks that I'm going to be putting in this week, as well as a few other things that we're going to be having for the Toronto Sports Card Expo. But this is about 95% of the collection. So let's dive into it. Without further ado, let's get to our first cards. And of course, being in Montreal, they are going to be carry prices. Montreal Canadiens. We definitely had to pick up a few. This one's two out of five quad game use patches. And behind it, this might be the best carry price card I've ever seen. It is so sick. An iconic fabrics from Ultimate Collection. Now look at the tags in this. That is going to be two out of three a Reebok tag with the Canada flag. What a beautiful card there. That is from 1516 Ultimate. Was super happy to see that one. I bought a lot of these cards blindly. It was just on an email list. And then I got to see them in person. I was like, wow, that card definitely delivered. <laughs> two out of three carry price. Next two that we have are SP Authentic Limited Patch Autographs numbered to 25. So both short printed. Steven Stamkos obviously on fire right now. And Mike Madano, always a great name to get. Stamkos' sale value has risen so much in the past three weeks. Was very happy to get that one. This next set of all these cards I am absolutely crazy about. The Immortal Ink. I think it's one of the most iconic cards, especially once the player has passed. Their autograph will live on in the Immortal Inks. That is the 10 out of 10 Ron Francis. And rest in peace to Tony Esposito, Immortal Ink. Beautiful cards these are. Behind that, how about a Dale Howarchuk, another legend, rest in peace. That one is the 1112 design. So all these are from different years. But Dale Howarchuk and Cujo on the Leafs uniform, silver ink pen, such great looking cards. And our final three here are all even bigger names. We have the four out of 10 Ray Bork. Not a huge fan of this year's design actually, out of all the other ones, I think this one's the weakest. But the one behind it, a beautiful Joe Sackick, seven out of 10. And our final Immortal Ink is one of the best ones. Seven out of 10, again, Mark Messier. Each year of SP Authentic, Immortal Inks gets a new design, and they're all going to be numbered to 10. I think only one year they were numbered to 25. So beautiful rare set that comes out once a year. Happy to pick those ones up. Here we've got a pretty unique one. How about a 5 out of 5, Doug Gilmore, the killer, the black sign of the times with the inscription, with the gold pen. We got the Cujo. These were super hard to hit. Super short print Cujo from Series 1, I believe, Canadian Hero Jersey Autograph as well as the Legend set Cujo and Grant Fuhr. Always a classic set that a lot of collectors try to build. And here's a guy that I think is super undervalued for being a, such a big Hall of Famer. He's definitely in my top six or seven guys that I like to collect. Joe Sackick, this one's the Marked of the Extinctions at a 25. Gorgeous design to there. That is from 1112 SP Authentic. And we got the OPG Premier Quebec Nordique short print autograph. We got a Jersey Auto out of 15 from Ultimate, the Keystone Jersey. And we finish off with out of 10 Jersey Autograph, Joe Sackick, Obsidian Signatures. She had three more Joe Sackicks in line. Uh, this one's from National Treasures, one of the best products ever created. 
greatest signatures, 24 to 25. The ultimate autograph, I believe that is a short print. And the final one is from the cup, the signature swatches with the gold pen. Like Joe Sackick, this player is also undervalued in my opinion. He is up there in the top six or seven guys that I like to collect. Mark Messier marks a distinction that is one out of 25, as well as the National Treasures Dual 1414 NT was something different, I'll tell you that. We got the Messier, Brian Leach, and Glenn Anderson triple. That is 10 out of 10. And the final Mark Messier is going to be a pairing. Stevie Y, Mark the Moose Messier, 59 out of 100 prestige pairings. Next up, we got two Marty Broders. This one is the Rookie Review Patch Autograph from SP Authentic. These have recently skyrocketed in price. I don't know why the Rookie Reviews have gone up so much, but uh, I'm not complaining. It's a beautiful set. Very nice on-card autograph. And behind it, another National Treasures out of 35 Frozen Treasures autograph. Nice blue ink on the red background there. Some of these can be pretty hard with the autograph. It's the same color as the jersey. But that one looks good. Here we've got a pretty crazy set. These are all from Legendary Signatures in 0405. Autographs like this are just such a great pickup in my opinion. Hall of Fame autos around that $100 range. They're all numbered. They're all from unique and hand numbered inscribed sets. Very, very, very happy with those. Next up, we've got some Bobby Orr autographs. This one's from Ultimate Legends Signatures in the Chicago Blackhawks uniform, which is hard to find. We've got him in the Sign of Times Bruins uniform. Nice big autograph there. And my favorite or that we picked up was the Marks of Distinction out of 25. Gorgeous looking card from SP Authentic. And this one's probably a little bit better out of five gold ink ice scripts with a great photo in the right side of the card. Here we have a tribute autograph from the cup, Phil Esposito. I have no idea on this card really. This could be 10 times what I think it is. How about some sign of times actions? This is the dual brothers, Phil Esposito. Tony Esposito, and then we got the Stahl brothers, Eric and Jordan, one out of 10. This was prime Jordan Stahl. He used to be my favorite player during that era. And then we have another four-way sign of the times. This one's definitely better. We got Bobby Hall, Luke Robitaille, Johnny Busick, and Steve Shutt. That one is seven out of 10. All on-card autographs, which they stopped in SP Authentic. I think they stopped it in 1516. So if you get sign of the times from some of those old years, that is definitely why we like to open those old years, chase after some of these monsters. Here we have some premier dual mega patches. Always love these cards. You get some nice swatches in each side of the card. Patrick Kane, Vladimir Tarasenko. Very cool all-star edition there. We have the King, Henrik Lundqvist, and Henrik Zetterberg. That one's 9 out of 15. Three color and two color. And then the trio, this one's one out of 25, Patrick Sharp, Tyler Sagan, Jamie Benn. And our final stack here, it definitely starts to pick up towards the end, so stay tuned for that. Here we got Jumbo Joe with the quad patch autograph. And speaking of, we got another one with Vinny LeCavier. This is the dual scripted swatches, two out of five. And that is from 2007, 2008, the cup. Now we are going to get into some of the bigger cards. We got the Mario Lemuse. This is the Ice Scripts autograph. Nice clean on-card auto there. And behind it, we saw the Stevie Y earlier in the video. I wanted to pair the two out of 25 from 1314 Ultimate. Mario, one color jersey autograph, but a nice swatch in there. Was happy to pick that up. And behind it, from 0607, the cup, the napkin black patch. But I don't care, we'll take it. <laughs> Honorable numbers, Mario. There's no complaining. A beautiful design to that year. This is by far the biggest year for honorable numbers sale value wise. I don't know why, but they definitely get a premium. Here we've got some Detroit Red Wings action. We got Henrik Zetterberg holding the Stanley Cup with the Stanley Cup signatures five out of five. That is from 2016 17 Premier. Great looking card. And then why not Stevie Y, Nicholas Lindstrom. That is 10 out of 10 dual signatures on card autograph from Premier as well. 0910 Premier on that one. This card here is special. How about a Marks of Distinction? Pavel Bure, 2 out of 25. Very, very big card with the Vancouver Canucks uniform. One of his best design cards. I've seen this card a few times and it can go up to a thousand dollars. It's pretty crazy. And we are going to finish off with two guys that we know very well. How about some Ovechkin and Crosby action? This is the Enshrinements Auto at a 50. That is from 2010 11, the cup. I love the light blue. Reminds me of that third jersey. 
This one is a very short printed dual Ovechkin Backstrom sign of the times. One of the best pairings in hockey. Those two throughout the years, something special. Next up, we've got the rookie review patch autograph of Sid the Kid. I was shocked by how much this card actually goes for. I know these have gone up in recent years. This is probably one of the worst year rookie review patch autographs, if I'm being honest. But uh, anytime it's Sidney Crosby, can't complain. <laughs> Both the Ovechkin first. The 0809 OV BGS9 rookie review three color patch auto, two out of 25. This is a special card. Also got a nine autograph, but the design on this one is much nicer than that Crosby. So it makes it even bigger. And our final card of the collection pickup was my favorite, the quad foundations out of five, Sidney Crosby, three out of five, nice three colors in there. And that is from 1516, the cup. I do have one of these, so this one's probably going to be available at the Toronto Expo, but such a gorgeous card. If I didn't already have one of these, it would be PC for life because I love the Quad Foundations autographs. And that will do it for the video, guys. If you did see any cards that you like in the video, we're going to have most of these featured at our booth at the Toronto Sports Card Expo next week, as well as our online breaks. We're going to have GP Buybacks, which is a repackaged product that we create for you guys. So make sure to subscribe to our newsletter to keep up to date with all those new breaks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we will see everybody on the next one.